Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a production by the College of Menominee Nation, Night Arts Program, Roswell Satellite Diner. We thank you all for coming out, of course. This time, a little housekeeping. If I could get you to turn off cell phones or anything that's going to ring in the night, that would be really awesome. We'd like all the crazy noises coming from our end of the curtain. That would be really nice. Also, if you didn't already read your program, you should. It's really great. But uh, it mentions, and the paper obviously too, mentions that there's a reception afterwards. We have cake. We'd like to shake your hand, say nice things. We have a lot of cake. So that'd be really cool if we could see you there. All right. Without further ado, again, thank you for coming out. Please sit back, relax, enjoy the show. acceptance letter this morning and you're the first person I call. Congratulate me because this fall I'll be packing my bags and leaving the desert for the good life as a student at the University of Toronto. What do you mean who is this? It's Dale! <laughs> what? No! Oh, Dale Danforth? D-A-N-F-O-R-T-H. <laughs> my sister and I own the Roswell Satellite Diner. Remember you helped us uh, uh, settle our father's will when we inherited the diner? Yeah, look, I know you have a lot of clients. Never mind that. I'm calling to enlist your help in selling a diner ASAP. I need to pay my tuition and make a down payment near the, on an apartment near the university. You can give me a quote that soon? Awesome, I can't wait to hear from you, Bobby. Bye! that I turned 18 last week and so now you can't sell this dump without my say so. Tammy, come on, I read you. You're an adult now. And so I can finally go live my own life as a student at the University of Toronto in Canada. Sister, Canada is beautiful. Brother, Canada is America's dunce cap. <laughs> You're so funny. But seriously, Tammy, I have to go. This desert's making me crazy. You have to sell, please. Well, uh, well, no. <laughs> Come on, I'm begging you here. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? There's just one thing that can change my mind. Really? Anything. Name your terms. You know what it is. I want to marry Stanley Edward Wilkinson III. When that happens, I will sell. <laughs> I mean, I know he's in the neighborhood watch and all, but that guy is almost a stranger. Why would anyone want to marry that guy? Then again, why would anyone want to marry you, Tommy? What did you call me? Tommy! I suggest that you shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Ah, Jay, look, I got called the man. So you hold down the fort and try and be nice today, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's safe out there. Crow might get scratched. Oh, hey, dog. Good friends call me Tiny. I ain't no dog. More like a dog. Calm down, calm down. I'm calm. Are you calm? Yeah. So, what do you want then? I'm recruiting new members for my bike club. You interested? I mean, we always can use a good looking lady like you. Boy, if you hit on 
me one more time. I'm gonna fix it so you can't sit on your bike until spring. Are we clear? Crystal. I'm also buying things to sell on eBay. That's how I make my living. I'm a dealer of fine collectibles. How much is this? That stuff? That stuff is made in China. It probably has lead paint on it. What do you want that crap for? Oh, there's a customer. Looking for souvenirs? No, there isn't. There never is. Tammy, don't you have something to wash? Whatever, Gail. Your name is Gail. My name is Dale. Well, never mind her. Let's talk business. That, that's not a business card. No, that. That's, that's a business card. <laughs> How is life treating my family? Life is crappy. Something's going on. My tinfoil hat is burning my head. You know the 55th anniversary of the UFO cover-up is today, right? Oh, that's nice. Hold on, sugar. I've got a present for you. A present for me? What is it? Well, if you're lucky, it will be me with a bow tie around my neck. Stanley, you want your usual, you know, satellite special with weak toes? Whoa, how did you know? You must be a freaking alien. Dang it, my head isn't working. Stop reading my mind. I know that cook's an alien. How many shot glasses you got? Let me check the bank. Did I hear you say alien? Didn't you know? Today's the 55th anniversary of the UFO cover-up. That means that today all the aliens are coming back for revenge. They're coming back to take their clones home. 55th anniversary? Huh. Then all this stuff should fetch a pretty penny on eBay. eBay, eBay! Why are you worried about eBay when they're coming for you? Dang it, where's your tinfoil hat? Your brainwaves are giving away our location. <laughs> Family man, we're out of wheat bread. Does rye bread work? Don't you know only aliens eat rye bread? Aliens eat hot pockets, spam, greens, crackers, chimichangas, and rye bread. Well, then I can't be an alien, Stanley, because I don't eat most of that stuff. Then again, quick, Stanley, get back here and help start up the ship so I can go to Galaxy Halo and get some chimichanga flavored hot pockets. Stop picking on my Stanley, you asteroid. I am warning you, if you don't leave him alone, you're going to have to remove my foot from your astral turf. Stanley, honey, are you okay? Is that a new tinfoil hat? It sure is, and it's just for you, baby. It looks wonderful. Waitress, are you going to take my order or what? Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> Found them. One of a kind. Forty bucks for the set of three. So, do you have any of those folk alien ants? Oh, hold on. I think I saw some in the back room. Hopefully, I can bring them out in one piece this time. Deal. We're out of bacon. I just bought some bacon, and we haven't had any customers. Don't act like you know my kitchen. Stanley, we're out of bacon. But we have plenty of rye bread. But bye, no! Don't be trying to cater to my Stanley. I will take care of my Stanley. Stanley, honey, the fridge is making a weird noise. We should go check it out. The aliens might be communicating! I can't think straight without some meat in me. Oh, I've got something you can sink your teeth into. All you can eat buffet, baby. Buffet? That's too much for me to eat. Thanks anyway. Well, I just thought I'd ask. You know, I'm just trying to take care of my Stanley. How about some plain old scrambled eggs and some sliced ham? 
coming right up. Saved her. That, that was a close one. That is your bike? What kind of pansy bike club are you in anyway? I'm a pro member of the Sustainable Bike Club that values the open road. Whatever. Never mind the bike, because some crazy lady almost ran me over. Move out of my way! Celebrity coming through! I'm trying to get to the bathroom! This little alien's pushing out my bladder! Ain't no celebrity, a fool almost ran me over! And my bike! Who taught you how to drive? Alien? You have an alien inside you? It's happening! I knew it! No one ever believes me, but look who's laughing now! Crazy-looking pregnant brat. She looks kind of familiar. Wait a minute, is she in Dude, Where's My Mini Man Part 3? Oh, I know she wasn't eyeballing my Stanley. I've got pencils, t-shirts, magnets, alien bumper stickers, and alien blood. What is your preference? I'll take it all. What? No phone figures? Oh, hold on. Give me another moment. Stanley, we're out of eggs. <laughs> How about some USDA denied commodity spam with a side of pickled raisins? I'm a celebrity. I don't care what you have. I'll take it. The little alien inside me needs to eat. Toss in a few pieces of rye bread. And rye bread? Not spam and rye bread. It is war of the world all over again. I gotta get my stuff. It is starting. It is starting. I'm coming with you, Dave. Crazy, crazy nut. It's a one of a kind Jim Moose exclusive. <laughs> Don't you mean John Deere? No, Jim Moose. They're brothers. Awesome. Jim Moose? For the man who has nowhere to go and all day to get there. Where is my food? Do celebrities have to get up and cook the food for themselves? The phone finger was in the wrong place. But this is the only one I've got. Hey, where are those shot glasses? You took them in the back with you. Either way, I'll take it all. Where is my food? Where is the manager? I was in Weekend at Bunny's Part 7 and I will not be treated like this. paid the electric bill. Oh, what's for this pillow? What the? That ain't no pillow. <laughs> what's going on? Are the aliens here? I told you they were coming. Celebrities don't mind eating in the dark, but I want my rye bread right now. Somebody give me my rye bread. Don't make me call my agent. <laughs> Look here, Missy. Knock it off already. Your face ain't pregnant, so it can shut up already. <laughs> Here, eat this. Everyone needs to stick together. The aliens are going to want to split us up. <sighs> I gotta pee again. I'm stuck. Guys, I'm a celebrity and I'm stuck. Weren't you in that Goldie Hunt movie? It all adds up? No, I was too busy filming the classic Biosphere 3 with Keanu Reeves. The aliens will hear you! What are you talking about? Aliens like little green guys with 16 eyes who know how to fly? Look, you guys are all crazy! Now, I know it is fun playing games with a celebrity, but somebody help me up! Who's playing games? This is no joke! Whatever you do, don't set one single foot outside of this door! How would you like me to stick my celebrity foot in your mouth? Now, help me up! Are you guys finally hooking up? 
Is that wedding bells I hear? Goodbye, New Mexico. Hello, Toronto. Now that you mention it, I'll have whatever Stanley had. Oh, now don't get all worked up. Nothing happened. Stanley had his taser on. Guys, there's a stuck celebrity over here. Now you best come help me up before I reenact my animated feature, Kung Fu Koala, on your faces. Move it. I got it. I got it. It's probably Bobby telling us how much we can sell this place for. Don't answer it! It's probably the aliens! They're going to bring your freakway! Fetch freak show. <laughs> Bobby, talk to me. That much? <clears throat> I mean, it's worth twice that. <laughs> yeah, we can sell tonight. Just me and my sister inherited, and we'll sign the papers tonight. See you in a few. You know I'm not selling until I'm Mrs. Stanley Edward Wilkinson III. The aliens are coming, and you're worried about spawning the next generation? Now that's managing it, I received my minister license. A week ago, on eBay. Ta-da! A man of plot always comes prepared. This is just too perfect. Stanley, will you do me the honor of becoming my official man in black? What? Are you crazy? I'm crazy for you. Now say yes or I'll make you regret it for the rest of your life. What does it matter? We're all gonna die anyway. Boy, I am warning you. Say yes or... I will marry you and make you the queen of my neighborhood watch. That is music to my ears. Do you hear that? That's the sound of everyone ignoring a celebrity. Guys, we're out of breath. What movie did you say you were in again? Weekend at Barney's Part 7. I don't recall seeing you in that movie. And it's one of my favorites. I've seen it a hundred times. Now that you mention it, I don't recall seeing you in it either. I've got the movie in the back room. Well, it was just a small part in that movie. I was too busy being a stunt double for the family film, The Bradley Bunch. Harry, hey, will you sign my full alien hand? How much do you think your autograph's worth anyways? It won't be worth the ink in the pen. Oh, my last autograph sold for 5,000 pesos. Now that you mention it, I think I bought that. <laughs> Batteries? What does it do anyways? What, the alien treasure? Quiet! I'm on to something! Guys, I got something! I'm a celebrity and you better tell me what you found! What's all the fuss about? I got a positive reading on my ectoplasmic beeper device! Wow, Stanley, that's amazing! Speaking of amazing, we should go check out the fridge again. Only this time, leave your taser behind and I will give you something to think about. I think there's something hidden behind this old photograph. That old thing, it's been there since I was a kid. How much do you want for that photograph? Why would you want to buy that? It's just an old picture of my dad in some former flame of his. Let me see that. Wait a minute, I'm a celebrity and that's a picture of my mom. <laughs> That can't be your mom. Hold on, why the heck are you at this diner for anyway? I'm here because I'm hungry, and my long lost father used to own a diner just like this one back when he and my mom were dating. There's something behind this picture. Dang, not again. Stanley, honey, turn on your flashlight. Poor 
our guy, he's not with it. Marry us or I will taser you. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate this. Never mind that, just get to the I do it. Do you tame What's your last name? Danforth! Do you, Tammy Danforth, take this unconscious man to be a lawful wedded husband, to have, to hold, for better or for worse, death do you part? I do, I do, I do! <laughs> do you, stand? Edward Wilkinson III! Do you, Stanley Edward Wilkinson the third, take this bad woman to be a lawful wedded wife, to have to hold for better or for worse? Death do you for it. Oh. He does, he does, he does. Any objectives? Heck no. Hello, Toronto. Stanley probably does. You will shut up if you know what's best for you. Well, the power invested in me by eBay. I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, Tammy. We're calling it Bobby, and we're selling this place. A deal's a deal. Hold on. I'm a celebrity, and I'm also part owner of this diner. What the heck are you talking about? I'm talking about the letter we found behind the photo. It says that I'm your half sister, and that our daddy made all three of us part owners. Let me see that. Now that you mention it, I received my judicial degree from the University of Eden. Let me take a gather of that. This is unbelievable! <laughs> to whoever finds this letter, I, Dale Danforth Sr., am writing this letter to confess that I have a long-lost daughter named Harriet from illicit fair I had in my youth. Her, no, her mother was an FBI agent who worked undercover, and together we created a D-list actress named Harriet Roll Satellite Cherry Hope Felsey, who won the hearts of the infirmal and faithful in the event that my sweet Harriet ever returns to this place and finds this letter. Then she will share the ownership of the Roswell Satellite Diner with my other two children, Dale, Tim. We're on 7799 with Sounds Mind Dale Danforth Sr., a.k.a. Dad. Don't believe this. It says P.S. Tammy, believe it. It's true. <laughs> Your mom probably tricked my dad. It says post. Dale, no she didn't. <laughs> well, not only am I a celebrity, but I'm also your boss, and I want a peanut butter and banana sandwich now. Oh, sorry. I just went on break. As soon as I'm back on the clock, I'll whip one right up. Oh! What happened? Were the aliens here? I feel like I was zapped by an alien stun gun! Stanley, honey, we got married! And right after that, the alien somehow zapped you right through your tinfoil hat and caused you to forget the whole thing. Really? I don't believe this. Believe it. Because right before they zapped you, you promised to give me 20 bucks. And you also agreed to join my bike club. By the way, membership's $25. Dang aliens! No, I'm broke! Stanley, honey, speaking of money, we need to buy me that half carat diamond wedding ring I've had my eye on. Your wife needs some bling bling on her finger. This place needs a little more Hollywood and a lot less hillbilly. What do you think? Fine, whatever it takes. All I know, as soon as Bobby gets here, we're selling this place. I'm a celebrity and I'm not selling this place. After all, this looks like a great place for me to raise my little alien. Dale, Stanley and I would like to raise our little aliens here too. I don't care what you guys do. As soon as Bobby gets here, I'm selling my share of the diner. Hey, Dale, if you put your share in the diner, I'll buy it. They're here! Quiet. There's no such thing as aliens. Don't talk to my 
Husband like that? I don't know, Dale. That sounded like a crash of some sort. Maybe you should go check it out. I'm not checking it out. Send biker boy. Whoa, I need to stay here and keep my bike safe. Send celebrity. She's part owner now. I'm a celebrity and my alien and I are staying right here. Cook, why don't you do something for a change? I've still got two minutes left on my break. Better luck next time. Stanley and I aren't going either. After all, today is our wedding day. I got it. I got it. Probably Bobby on his way over with the paperwork. Good, then I'm a celebrity and two thirds of this guy now are not for sale. Bobby, talk to me. What do you mean you can't make it? What do you mean something just fell out of the sky? <laughs> Bobby? Bobby? What did he say fell out of the sky? He said it looked like some sort of UFO. And then he just hung up? The aliens must have kidnapped him. They'll be coming for us next. Knock off this crazy talk, guys. I'm a celebrity and I'm not going to fall for the aliens are attacking crap. Hey, Dale, come check out how much you're worth at the diner is on eBay. What are you talking about? I didn't put my share on eBay. No, but I did. Take it off now. Wait a minute. How many people are there? Dozens? You're welcome. I'm a celebrity. If anyone is going to buy your share, it's going to be me. Whoa, it's worth that much? Uh. Just so you know, Dale, I received my real estate license from the boards of eBay. You are required to pay me minimal 10% commission. Maybe 3% and you got a deal. I can't go lower than five. Make it 3%, I'm kicking you and your stupid bike out of this diner. Sold. I'm a celebrity and I'm calling my agent to bid for me. Wait a minute, Dale, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. I'm going to Toronto for a first-rate education, cheaper prescription drugs, <laughs> and to get the heck away from you fools. <laughs> But don't you think we should save that for our honeymoon? <laughs> Never mind that! Help me tape this door shut! Period. We just ran out of bananas. Sorry. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's it. The partial lovely owner of this diner, you are fired! Mind by me. I'll go get my things. Hey, there's a three-way bidding war. Which way is this? Moose Rider 55, and some celebrity agent 007, and some freak named Rosbiel agent, FBI agent 33. Stanley, honey, do you want me to get some blankets for inside your circle? This is no time for comfort, it's time for survival! What are you doing with that duct tape? Are you trying to ruin me? I'm making a circle of protection! Quick, everyone inside the circle! I'll come in there with you, Love Muffin. <laughs> this is no time to procreate. The alien is just right outside our reinforced door. I'm in. I'm a celebrity and I fired you for not cooking any food and now you show up with all this food? What, so are you trying to beg for your job back? This isn't for you, this is a snack for me. Fine, I'm a celebrity and I will go cook my own food, but you are pay for that food you are eating. Fine by me, take it out of my tips. All right, I raise the bedding 3%, use my 3%, and to pay for a coast to coast bike ride. Now it's time to watch the other dudes duke it up. Wow, Tiny, you're not as dumb as you look. Really? Still enjoying my bike club. Uh, <laughs> no. You're one freaky guy. Ditto. <laughs> There's something at that door. Let's have the celebrity check it out. Check out what? 
Your agent is at the door. I'm a celebrity and I don't believe you. Quit! Get inside the circle if you want to live! <laughs> How much am I sell of the diner summon for? Actually, someone agreed to your buying out price. We did, Dale. Old Nothing but open roads in our future. Woohoo! Who bought it? Celebrity Agent 007. That's me! Now I'm a celebrity and two thirds owner of this diner! Yes, Sister Power! Harriet, if you won't get inside the circle, then go! Check it out. Oh my god, it's an alien! <gasps> really? No, there's too much duct tape. I can't see out this window. <laughs> Stop fooling around! Grab the rope and we'll pull you into the circle! Guys, do you really think that there's an alien out there? I don't know if the alien will join my bike club. <laughs> That's ridiculous! <laughs> Come in, it's open! Stanley, hold me! I wonder if the aliens brought anything to eat. <laughs> Can anyone see anything? I believe it when I see it. 
Fine. Take off the gas mask and show us who you are. Brace yourself for a picture of beauty. <laughs> I had to. I was on a top secret undercover FBI mission. I am a celebrity daughter and I've always wanted to meet you. Harriet Rose, Satellite Charity, Hope Feldstein, is that you? Yes, it's really you. Oh. <laughs> so, what happened with all the explosions? Oh, that? A desert buzzard swooped and crashed into the windshield of a methane gas truck, causing it to jackknife and explode. No one was hurt except some real estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> mess with you. <laughs> so why are you here now? Why? For your 18th birthday, Tammy. You didn't think I'd forget, did you? Well, you did. It was last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How can I make it up to you? You can make me and Harriet each 50% owner of the diner. And you can send Dale to go to school in Toronto. And you can promote me to head chef. Done! <sighs> and you can join my bike club. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably just give me the gas mask. Fine. Dad, meet my husband, Stanley Edward Wilkinson III. Pleased to meet you, son. Are you I sure am. Then as your son-in-law, can you tell me, do you aliens really exist? I can't tell you that. It's classified. Well, then, if they do exist, can you tell me to keep wearing my tinfoil hats? You should keep wearing your tinfoil hats. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>